<laughs> well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old timey country down home red state update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Also, Opryland has not been open for like 40 years. Well, it's been closed. It's Opry Mill now. You, know, well, I mean, you always went there to buy stuff, but back in the day, you could win something too. Opryland, folks, is a longtime Nashville. Uh, amusement park, country music thing. Well, I, you know, I take it over Disneyland, anything like that. I, I miss it sometimes. I mean, I don't care about going to any kind of amusement park, but if I had to go one, I like to hear a little country music. Uh, people smiling, cheerful, frozen now, lemonade. Rolling lemonade, delicious. I remember that. Hot, you go on. I like going across the sky lift, whatever it was. Went from one park in a park or other. You be up and get your frozen. Lemonade getting that and just yep. look down and drop all. Drop it on people? No, you don't drop it on people. You ain't disrespectful. Anybody. How old was you in Opera Land? You wasn't but it young and back in. I, I, we went up uh, into my teenage years, smoke, smoking some dope. All right. Getting on Chaos. They had a ride called Chaos. Chaos, something like that. That's the beginning of the end, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, right there. We're going to have to. Keep up, play, try to get Space Mountain and all these fancy, crazy rides How for these youngest. How many rides can you come up with that have something to do with country music? You're going to run out of rides. You don't ideas. need any more. You get on a, a wild bass cannonball and then you go sit and listen to the man sing Lee Greenwood songs. That's a good day. Frozen lemonade, all that stuff. It even looked like Lee Greenwood. One of them did anyway. They he all was, looked like Lee Greenwood. Well, this one was blonde. They had blonde beard, blonde hair. Sure, you those are the differences. You like, hey, who? You, which one did you see? Blonde Lee Greenwood or regular looking? It did make any difference. He's just a good sound, just like him. Everybody stand up, put the hand on the heart. People need to do that more often in shows. We probably wouldn't be in the shape we are now. Days. Some of those fake Lee Greenwoods went on to have uh, pretty uh, long running careers as his body doubles. Body doubles. Well. You know, at peak Lee Greenwood, he couldn't appear everywhere they needed him to be. Well, he and he, also there were so many people trying to kill him. Well, every time as a also every time as a national disaster, anything like that, he got to go. He's got well, he serves his country. Some people serve it, you know, fighting overseas. He Not serves him. him singing, you know, proud of being American. Yes, and that people need to hear that sometime after nine eleven. He's all over the place. Yep. Well, not technically. He well, was. He would be in one place, and then the army of uh, Lee Greenwood body doubles were out wherever people were feeling blue or well, confused. It was him that arranged that. That's one good thing, I guess. Well, him he, and the U.S. government. Well, I mean, whatever it is, they're trying to get people's morale spirits up. I ain't got no. You know, if, if you, you served, and and we missed Veterans Day, and we need to thank everybody for their service. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Uh, but that includes the Lee Greenwood Court. Well, I mean, I'm there sure are a on lot Veterans, of men. Veterans Day, I'm sure more than a few people played uh, some Lee Greenwood music. Oh, that is. That's a big day for that's him, a too. Busy Lee Greenwood day. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. So the Lee Greenwood, and I mean, they have, it gets a little confusing because they actually have, you know, uh, events to honor the Lee Greenwood Corps, and then they have to have Lee Greenwood come out and sing to the Lee Greenwood body doubles from the Lee Greenwood Corps. I have and they you, gonna learn, yeah. They don't even know. Well, just to honor them. Well, so yeah. they, like, go from training, like you get up in the morning the Lee Greenwood Corps and you're training, learning how to sing God Bless the USA, and then you go proud from training. Proud to be an American, yeah. Proud to be an American. Yeah. Is that... I don't know if that's the same song. Or it's the same song or the two songs he got. No, I'm pretty sure it's just the one. Well, that's more than enough. I'm just saying, you know, it gets in your head. You know it's patriotic either way, but that's good, yeah. So they go from being taught how to sing like Lee Greenwood, and then they go to an event honoring him, and then there's Lee Greenwood. And then they don't even know. See, that's how good they are. Is that really Lee Greenwood? Like, yeah. blonde Lee Greenwood from Opryland. Well, that's the only reason I could tell that man from, I'm, I'm sure if he just died his bed and hey, yeah, he'd exactly. be fine. Yeah, well, yeah. But, I mean, well, I thought rumor. it was not, you know, they weren't trying to deceive people. 
because, uh, you know, he obviously was not Lee Greenwood, but had, you know, because you could see the color of his hair bed, but had he changed, I wouldn't have known different. I said, well, I didn't know he's hurting that bad, had to come work or operate well, or here's, whatever. Here's another thing, uh, just to throw people off the scent, because part of it is Lee Greenwood, high demand. The other part is a lot of people trying to kill Lee Greenwood. What? So sometimes to throw people off the scent, he would actually dye his beard and hair blonde and take the place of the blonde Lee Greenwood at Opryland. I'm- Meanwhile, it's like the prince and the pauper. Meanwhile, blonde, uh, blonde Lee Greenwood dyed his hair brunette and what? he went off to tour the country singing God Bless the USA. Well, what's something happened to him? He had to move on to the next That's one. That's why the U.S. government uh, developed the uh, Lee Greenwood Corps. I so don't that doubt there's, there's terrorists all different sorts bench. trying to kill Lee Greenwood. Oh, it's, sure. That, that'd put a, break the hearts of many uh, um, true blue Americans if something happened to that man. So uh, I can understand them trying, you know, they try to hurt America out of the can is what to do. That's what the, the whole life But if you make a for. list of, like, top five ways to hurt America, kill Lee Greenwood, it's got to be, be three or four. I'll be honest, and I ain't saying this to be disrespectful. When 9-11 happened, it was awful. But when it happened, I did, it took me a little while to figure out, what, what did it blow up? You know, I didn't know. I'm just saying from where I am, I ain't as familiar with the Twin Tires or, World Trade Center, as it was Lee Greenwood. Now, I ain't saying what the di- I ain't one above the other or less than the other. I don't mean it that way. I'm just saying from my from my point of view, it took me a minute. I, oh, yeah, well, that's terrible. You know what? I realized what it was after a while, but when it first started coming on TV all that morning, I didn't know for sure. But if, if they had broke in and whoever, was Bryant Gumbel still on then? I don't think Matt so. Lauer, I don't think probably. he's gone. Matt yeah. Lyers, who it was. I remember Katie, I never will forget. Uh, Katie Kurt, Matt Lyer, confused everybody else. But if they'd come on and they go, I, I don't know. It, we're getting word. I don't know how. To, I guess Lee Greenwood has been attacked by terrorists. Nah, that wouldn't be no. It was bad enough. They flew a plane in a, a Pentagon. Um, going for a White I know, House. I know had what they flo- happened. Had they flown a plane in, he got a branch in, or something, I'm sure. If they would flown a pl- plane into Branson, that would have been... That'd be... I'd, thank God, that, you know... Well, what, you can't tell... Now, I know every city in America, when that was happening, we were all confused. We didn't know. We I thought... Everybody thought about the end of the world. But didn't know everybody sure. thought, like, well, what's going to be next? Well, of course they're going to fly a plane into Murfreesboro. I wouldn't put it past them. Well, they, at the time, we thought we were naming all the reasons. I can't remember what they were now. I mean, now, like, if we saw the, all the reasons written out on a piece of paper for uh, Al-Qaeda to attack them, Murfreesboro, we'd probably just laugh and go, well, that don't make no sense. But at the time, at you're the time, scared. Yeah, everybody scared to death. Didn't know you was confused what was going on in the world. Like, say, they, you know, we were being attacked. But I heard them, I heard people say back then, you know, we're next, yeah. Branson, we were next, but Branson well, yeah. had to be high up that list. If there was a list of further cities to get to, Branson have to be on there because you, you take out Branson, you're taking out Yakov Smirnoff, you're taking out. Yakov Smirnoff. Andy. Uh, hey, Russian. Yeah, he loves America now. Well, he loves you. Well, don't any Russian that gets to come over here love it? Yeah, he he will want America biggest cheerleader. I ain't knocking him, but don't put Yakov Smirnov in the same category as World Trade Center or Lee Greenwood. I'm just saying he's a little further down. If I heard they had flown a plane or crashed or he, whatever they did to him, I'd be, well, that's too bad. He loved America, but it ain't going to hurt my soul like, you know. Lee Greenwood. Yeah. And World Trade Center, too, after I learned what it was, saw, you know, how horrible it was, yeah. Lee Greenwood, well, the rumor is, Jack, there is a rumor going around that Lee Greenwood has been dead for several years. And one of the... uh, He up in age, he ain't dead yet. When you see him, he look a little older. He look good for his age, I'll say that. It's exactly what you... If you dig deep enough on the internet, you're going to find some conspiracy theorists who say just what you just said. Internet. That if terrorists got to Lee Greenwood, that would hurt this country's soul. It would really knock us for a loop. And there are some conspiracy theorists who believe Lee Greenwood had a plane flown into him sometime between uh, 
the you know last few years of Clinton. Some people think it happened before 9-11, uh -huh. like it was a test run. And then some people think that it happened since 9-11. But nobody really knows for sure. Everybody's got their theories. But they're saying that the U.S. government would not let uh, that happen. We could not go public with that knowledge. And so he's been replaced by a series of body doubles who keep that. getting murdered by terrorists as well. So, what? like, there's some some sites online think that we're up to 11 or 12th Lee Green. I don't body know double. about that. He still sounds good as ever was. I like great Lee Greenwood. He's, like I said, American hero, American icon, if you won't go so far. Now, I understand deception when it comes to, you know, after 9 11, something like that, everybody's hot, you know, in the stomach, feeling terrible, and, and, and nothing makes you feel better or, or more proud to be an American than to hear Lee Greenwood sing that song. Uh, uh, God bless the USA. But uh, that's like what proud you call... Proud to be an American. Well, yeah, proud to be American, God bless the USA. It's, it's the same song. It's what the you same say. song. All right. I, what, what I'm saying, it's both the same song. But that's like a patriotic deception because everybody needs to hear it, and the Lord knows yes. he can't be everybody everywhere at once. No. But also, you would think if something happened to Lane Green, one here's the other way to look at it. America would come together. Of course, I don't know about in this day and age with what way it is now, but if something happened to Lane Green, would America come together and do what needs to get done? I wish, I wish Lee Greenwood would write a song about uh, Congress and, and all that stuff to do something like that, you know, if they, and play it in the chambers before they go in there and sit down. Maybe I might get something done. I thought you meant he should write a song about how Congress sucks, but you're saying Lee Greenwood Well, it don't know more. We just got everybody in there when they now, and I know we still got some idiots still left, but, you know. You're saying Lee Greenwood should write a song to inspire Congress and or and or guilt Congress into doing their job doing every their job. day. If you went in there before, if it was prerequisite, as I say, before you go in there and put your robe on, whatever it is to do, I don't, I ain't seen pictures in forever. I don't know what to do anymore. Before you go in there, sit down, open your mouth, or vote on anything, everybody has to stand there with a hand on the heart and listen to uh, God bless the USA, proud to be American. What if? Because I don't know any other. Can you name another song? Now, we all know that's what children grow up learning is when you hear Star Spangled Banner, you stand up, put your hand on heart. I mean, you told to do that. You know, that's what you learn. Now, I don't remember anybody ever telling anybody they had to stand up and put their hand on the heart when Proud Bay American, uh, God Bless USA comes on. Nobody ever told them that. That just you do it on your own. You stand up and do it. I remember back in Opera Land, that blonde fell up there singing. Everybody stood up midway in that song, stood up, put the hand on heart. Nobody said, he didn't tell everybody to do that. No. Little I mean, kids, you told to stand up. National Anthem, and that's fine. I ain't saying that's wrong. You got to learn some, somehow, some some way. But, you know, don't anybody ever say, uh, you make sure you stand up, put your hand on heart when leave it. No. You, 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 you just, just do it. Yeah, yes, sir. You stand up. You that. just know. Your body knows. Yeah. Something about Lee Greenwood's voice reaches deep into your body and pulls you up. Pulls your hand up over your heart. And like as if you're not even in possession of your own body, your no. hand. Like I don't even know if you could fight it if you wanted to. That hand just starts coming up to you. Yes, scary. Sir. Sometimes you're like, am, am I gonna choke myself? You gotta be careful. That come on when you're driving. You gotta be careful. Well, that's Pull why over. they don't play it on the radio. They don't anymore. hear it played on the radio as much because they probably some wrecks back in the day. And, and now when they, if they do play it, like if something horrible happens and they do play it. Most people at home anyway, they ain't out driving around. But if you are, like, headed to a shelter or whatever, then I think the announcers are legally obligated to say, well, we're about to play this. Lee Greenwood, proud to be an American, God bless the USA, pull over. Pull over side of the road out of, out of respect and also safety. Safety. Both, yeah, both of them. Because once your hand starts moving up, like, you could have a cigarette going in the other hand, yeah. a cup of coffee. I think that happened to me once, yeah. And and then your other hand just start letting go of the wheel. That's a recipe for disaster. Yep. And then you know you have a horrible car crash, and at your funeral they probably play "God Bless the USA." I if, wouldn't if they, you were patriotic. If you well, yeah. Even if you're not patriotic, I mean, some people are gonna be mean. It's not a, no matter what. You can't right. get up to them. But if you just an average citizen, average uh -huh. fella. Or if you are a real patriotic, too, you know, either one of those, you you ain't got no control. And I, one time I smoked a cigarette, I wasn't even in the car. And, you know, 
it, that song did what it does, and I burn a hole in my shirt. You should send Lee Greenwood the bill. Oh, hell. I should, I'm happy to look at that. Every time I see that hole, that burn of that shirt, I still got to this day I wear it to work. It, I see it, and that makes me, I said, well, that's what this country is about. That's, you know, what it used to be. What's well, coming again, hopefully soon here, and now they going to do something right up in there for a change. But uh, before they do something right, I'm telling you, play you, all of them in the chambers here before we come out. You play it. I have two thoughts. How to be American. God bless USA. Make them think a little bit. Mm -hmm. Instead of a moment of silence or however they shot, play that damn song. Maybe they'll get out there and do what, do what they need to be done. How can you tell you have so many shirts with cigarette holes in them? How uh -huh. can you tell which is the one caused by Lee Greenwood? Well, it's some just stuff fly. I know fly off a of grill, burn me, or just, you know. Cigarette, Yeah, moths, cigarette, just cigarette. You wear know, and tear. Get a scratch or something, whatever. But right. I, that, I animal just, scratches. I don't know about animals don't burn you. And what are you talking about? Well, you know, scratches? sometimes just uh, a little rip from like a little kitty claw. Uh -huh. A little kitty claw. Rip in your shirt that can turn into a hole, and you well, might yeah. not know. But no, it. and uh, when you burn a hole, it's black around it. You see in there, you see it's a burnt, uh, it's a burnt hole. There ain't no catch out back. Yeah, scratch you get in your shirt. Something all the cat got me. That's understandable. But I'm, a burn got a, a mark on it. Burn a little bit, singed. That's so you know it's a cigarette or something flying off grill in there when I'm cooking. Sure, campfire. Well, if you out camping, yeah, anything, any kind of fire, no matter what kind it is, if you get on, you burn a hole in your shirt. But that's you know it's a burn. And cigarette burn is a very particular kind of burn on shirt. Now, sometimes something fly off the grill look a little bit like a cigarette burn, but you can tell a cigarette burn for a shirt. You know, well, I'm, I either fell asleep there if it's on your, your pants leg, on the seat, something, or, you know, if you if it's right there over your heart, I'm telling you, like, somebody's you playing Lake Greenwood. Yes, sir. Yes, true. sir. That's true. And I was smoking that time for what smoke for. You, know. you should do a show that's just you analyzing cigarette burns, like uh, forensic files, but just cigarette burns. I'd say, yes, I, yeah. Something like if it, if it, if a murder or whatever, something involves cigarettes, which I hope that sounds awful. I hope that's not outside of, you know, cancer or something like that. Right. That's not a murder. No, well, that's well, not. Well, you know, maybe. Not really. Do it to yourself. That's what it is. Sure. You know, and plus, ain't, that ain't proven per se yet. You know, back a company. Back a company. I ain't going to do all that. I pay the $8 it costs now to get a damn cigarette. I'm doing it myself. I ain't going to turn around and go, look what you did to me. I ain't going to do that. If it happens so far, so good. Knock on wood. If everything they saying was true, Lee Greenwood I, smoke. I, he might have one time. He from a different era, so am I. Different time back in, more people smoked. Does Lee Greenwood smoke? That's a good question. Huh? Anybody knows? How, of course, how you know if it's Lee Greenwood smoking or now? Supposedly, Lee Greenwood Corman of America, they they are not allowed to smoke. Well, if he don't smoke, they shouldn't. I mean, if he smokes, I don't see what it matters. Well, if if he's out smoking, it don't make any difference. If, if you think they're legal, 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 well, that's fine. If he don't smoke and they smoke, then that's going to start some trouble there. Right. They do anything he he don't do. You know, if, if, if they're on body double assignment, like trying to lure away the terrorists, then that is, that's when they should be smoking if he smokes. But if they're just in performance mode and they're just at a, a fair or a, a, a you know, a a vigil, then I think they're not supposed to smoke. Well, back in 87, people smoke all the time on stage. Singer, get up there, he ain't going to quit smoking, just sing. Now, you, John Cogan Mountain Camp. Right to this day, yeah. I think he still, he sits on a stool pretty much through the whole show, smokes a pack of cigarettes. I mean, it's pretty much, you know. Like, like one up every song. Yeah, know? yeah. Like paper and... You know, I like some of them old songs. He's one of them fellas, you know, when they, it's just John Cougar. I thought that sounds silly. And then when he come out, John Cougar, Mel Camp, all he just, average fella trying to, you know, make a dollar like anybody else writing songs. So I, you know. Yeah, really? The name changed, changed his image well, John much for Cougar you? sounds like John, you know, that sounds like he's trying to be somebody so picks his hair slicked back and it all, 
you know, maybe got makeup on, something like Looks that. Looks like so. he's in Sha Na Na, the name and the image and all. Whatever it is, yeah. But then when he just, you know, didn't give them my name, Mount Cap, and put on jeans, smoke shit like said, shit on, what, something other night on one of them channels on Flex or whatever it is. And I like some of them songs. Or, uh, what's, a, what's the one I like? It, the name of a boy. Got yeah, girlfriend something. There's two of them. It's a whole song about them. They say the name over and over again. Jack and Diane. That's it. Uh, Jackson Dot. Uh, How many? There's only one Jack. Why would that become plural? Well, I didn't say plural. I was just saying that Jack's Diane. Anyway, I like that song. A couple of other songs. He sang a song about a scarecrow. I always like that. Reminds you of something I know about. Uh, but yet yeah, he was on one of them things, and he sang, sat on a stool. Of course, he up there in A's now too. He sat on a stool, band sounded just fine behind him. He sat there, uh, beginning to every song in between. He may say a few words, but he mostly just uh, putting the cigarette out. And that had somebody run out, get a new, you know, hand him a new pack of cigarettes, get that empty that ashtray, and put it back out there through the whole show. And he said he sound fine to me, sound like he always did. You know, don't have to get up and run around like an idiot. Uh, like some of them people think they got to do, and who's that Rolling Stone or whatever, Beatle, all them look like idiots. He just sit there and do it, get the job done, as I say. But I don't know if Lee Green was smokes or not. I don't know. Sounds like John Cougar Mellencamp could use some body doubles. What? Well, they need to do a John Cougar Mellencamp. Core. What does he need one for? Well, he Gray, can't what get that through makes a sense. damn song, and he's got some songs about America, farming. Well, he ain't Lee Greenwood. Everybody knows that. You ain't gonna see him sing uh, something before a ball game. I don't think no, his songs are kind of like, oh, look what America did to me. Hey, you know he. I like some of them songs, but yeah, he some of them. Uh, all them people wrote good songs. And, and during during that time, he said, "Oh, that sounds pretty good." And then someone explained to you, "Oh, he hates Ronald Reagan." That's basically what all those. If you're like, oh, that's a good, that's a good patriotic song from the eighties. No, and one of them is hates Reagan. <laughs> Jack, did you own a Bible? Yeah, I got two of them. Are you in the market for a new Bible? I, I mean, it, it's hard to turn a Bible down, but I, I, you know, I'm okay with the ones I got. Well, what if I could get you? What if, what if, say, I could get you a Bible that also uh, talks about patriotism? Wow. It seems a little dangerous now uh, with Christian nationalists, Trump. Uh, but there was a time when maybe it wouldn't have seemed so weird to, I mean, it would, I mean, if you thought about it for a second, okay, let me, let me sweeten the deal. I can get you a Bible that talks about patriotism has a constitution in it, the bill of rights, uh, and the chorus of Lee Greenwood's God bless the USA in the Bible. Wow. What if I could get you a Lee Greenwood Bible, Jackie? What the Bible sang to you and play music out of it? Well, I think what I've seen is that Jesus's words are in red in this Bible. But I think that to sweeten the pot even further, when you turn the page, Lee Greenwood should sing what Jesus says. Like when you get a birthday card that's got Moni Moni in it or something. We have the technology. Why can't we do that? Or maybe just every time you turn the page, you just hear, because there ain't no doubt. I... What? I love this land. I don't know those little chips. I don't know how far they could. Because there ain't no doubt. I love this land. God bless the U.S. US. Um, Is he got his picture in it? It's the late Greenwood Bible. Is he on the cover? I don't know if uh, if he is on the cover of, of this Bible. I, the, the cover of the Bible has an American flag. Well, it, says yeah. Hol- it says Holy Bible. 
looks like leather, embossed leather. And this is a, this is a, this is a regular, this ain't Mormons, because Mormons said Jesus over here doing all sorts of stuff. But no, it, it's just the Bible with a bunch of uh, history, American uh, uh, constitutions in it, and a flag on the cover as says, God bless the USA. And it has the chorus of God bless the USA in it. I guess the verses didn't make the cut. Isn't as that- far as I know, it doesn't have like the biography. Like Lee Greenwood didn't add his story to this Bible. Like uh, I was born in 1948 and I started having hits around 1981. He, it's just the Bible and a bunch of patriotic bullshit. Uh, it- paraphernalia. E- everything you just described to me. Ain't that the damn reason that the pilgrims got on the boat, get the hell out of England for? Jackie, I think the pill, I'm not 100% sure about this now because I know that we can't teach uh, uh, critical race theory in in schools, but I think the pilgrims came over here um, with this in mind, hoping to get to a day when the Lee Greenwood Bible could be an average where you could be sworn into a cushy ass job as a Supreme court justice on a Lee Greenwood Bible. I do not think anybody's going to stop you. This is America. You can have any country artists Bible. If you want look, Jackie, I'm on God bless the USA Bible.com right now. And it says it's a perfect heirloom keepsake companion for the family. Homeschooling households, yeah, I yeah. would, I'd, I'd say that. Grandparents, sure. Teens, that one's questionable. That one's questionable. Uh, U.S. history buffs, <laughs> brides, birthdays, anniversary, anybody that loves America, and, and the it, Bible, and the Bible. Well, it doesn't it just says. I guess that is weird. You'd think that they would say anyone that loves the Bible or America, but they just say anybody that loves America. What if you love America, but hate the Bible? Those people do not exist in the minds that of the people who come up with this idea. Lake Le- Greenwood. <laughs> it, I'm glad that they mentioned here in this biography of Lee Greenwood, uh, his other songs because I think people forget that he had a bunch of fucking songs. Hey. Seven number one hits, 38 singles, including songs like, and then they list a bunch of songs. You know, if they were gonna put a Lee Greenwood song in the Bible, it should be Morning Ride. Do you remember Morning Ride, Jackie? I've been a while, yeah, but yeah. It's just about fucking in the morning. That's All what right. they should put All on right. the don't and he's real like subtle it. about it. It's real subtle. It's like it's a quiet time in the early dawn for the, I don't remember how it goes. I just remember like hearing it on the radio. Going, he talking about fucking. All right. Or the morning paper before the coffee's on. When there ain't much moving in that world outside, I'd love to take a morning ride. This is the Bible man singing. My baby knows it's the time we share. She wakes me gently, brushes back my, her hair. Right, her hair, because Lee Greenwood. And she moves into my arms, sweet and slow. I can't wait to get up and go. I mean, come on. This is on the radio. This is number one song. Going to take my baby on a morning ride when the sun comes slipping around the mountainside. You ever said that to somebody, Jackie? No. When the sun comes slipping around. Uh, About an hour, maybe two. Come on, Lee. Nobody's buying that. Ain't nothing me and her would rather do than see the green grass glistening in the morning dew. Now, some of this does sound like, okay, always talking about going for a ride. Oh, no, he's talking about fucking. But then when they talk about green grass, I'm like, is it just their pubes and juice? All right. What's glistening? All right. Did he go for a ride? Did they fuck when they got to the... Hey. While the world's still damn spanking new, I like he's using all these dog whistles of what he's really into. Oh, I know how beautiful the day will be when she takes a morning ride with me. I mean, that's gross. And I like hearing dirty things. Conway Twitty. I've listened to a lot of songs by Conway Twitty talking about fucking and not a one of them is is this and when we get back it will feel so right this is the bible to just lay back and linger i mean linger 
if you're doing a sex song, don't do linger because it sounds too much like finger. All right. The people I, are going to say, why didn't he just say finger? I don't want to hear any of this. I don't want it in my Bible. I don't want it in the radio. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to smile at me thinking where we've been wanting me to take her again. Morning ride folks. That's your Bible. That's your Bible right there. Mr. Lee Greenwood. I looked up at a bunch of his uh, record albums and I swear to God, he's laying down in like four of them. Like every record album cover of Lee Greenwood. He's laying the fuck down, taking a nap. I don't know if he's trying to, I guess he's trying to be sexy that's another thing is God bless the USA, man. I think it was supposed to be a sexy man, a sexy country man, sexy, sexy Lee Greenwood. And now we just think, oh, uh, right. They couldn't get Lee Greenwood. So they just got, you know, at the fair, you know, let's try to get Lee Greenwood. And often you can. Yeah. Usually he shows up. Yeah. Just. Always laying down. Maybe he's tired from being so patriotic. Can you imagine? Sang, you sang all day. You know, you been in the what? You go in the studio. You sang all day and night. Oh, we got to do an album cover. Uh, all right, but I just want to get home and take. You know, just let me get a power nap in or something. So I ain't got, I got time, Lee. Yeah, I got an idea. Let's do it. He you know, manager. That's when a good manager steps in and says, "We'll do it both." You know, and gets everything done. I just don't understand. I can't imagine performing a song so powerful it can make the Bible worse. And I mean, what? Why did they? Are the demographics changing? Did some? Did somebody young accidentally buy a Bible, and somebody at the Bible company went quick? Let's get Lee Greenwood. We're we're trending down. Was there? Did they have a? Meeting at Zondervan, where they said, How can we make the Bible appeal to even older people? This is the sort of thing, Jackie, that would make Jesus flip over every table, every merch table at every theater in Branson, Missouri. Never stop. He'd never stop. Never stop. It doesn't matter. Andy Williams, no matter whose merch table it was, he would uh, flip the shit out of it. Well, I think there's an interview with him. Like there's an article in the, oh no, these, these uh, articles I have up are just about the state of Tennessee signing transgender bathroom bills. Uh, but it's a good thing that Lee Greenwood Bible is coming out. Cause that'll really. Can Tennessee, that'll, Tennessee just made the Bible is official book, right? The book of Tennessee. Oh, they may need to refine this a little bit uh, not just about lee greenwood but you know if you're gonna do it do it all the way i know that they're like i can't we if we had just waited two weeks i'm sure lee greenwood had to know somebody there right he could have whispered something to somebody said just give it a little time uh, he'd whisper it sexy too in your ear hey but my bible i bet the uh uh, yeah, the Glee Greenwood Bible honestly should be the official. I'm not okay with the Bible being the official book of Tennessee, but I'm okay with the Lee Greenwood Bible being the official book of Tennessee. I mean, why not at this point? Uh, Alabama just passed medical marijuana. We're passing uh, bathroom bills to make trans people's lives worse. We're, uh, we used to make jokes like, oh, Alabama, ha, ha, ha. Now, like, Alabama, I'm sorry, Alabama. I hope you'll. I hope you'll forgive us. I'll be apologizing to Arkansas next. See you on the way down, Mississippi. Zondervan, a part of Harper Collins Christian Publishing, uh, uh, the guy who runs Zondervan, Jackie, says in this article from Religion Unplugged, uh, in past, I think it's the guy that runs Zondervan. Representative for Zondervan's Bibles and Harper Collins have not responded to a request. So, no, this is Kirk, Hugh Kirkpatrick from Elite Source Pro, a Middle Tennessee based company that helps businesses with sales, marketing, and strategy. I got strategy. Uh, who can we put on a Bible? including in Nashville's entertainment industry. Hugh Kirkpatrick, president of Elite Source Pro, confirmed to Religion Unplugged that Zondervan granted the required licensing for the custom Bible. Why do you have to license a Bible? Is it like Disney? Like you, can't, you can't do Mickey Mouse public domain. I'm pretty sure I could make up a cartoon about Jesus if I wanted to. 
Well, well, you, you, Lee Greenwood part, I guess, is what you're referring to. Oh, right. Yeah, I couldn't put Lee Greenwood in, no, in he, my cartoon. He, he, had, he had to, like, sit down, you know. Uh, I, you know, I don't know if it was his idea or not, but, I mean, he at some point he had to say, that's a good idea. By all means, please use my name, and I get, you know, how much a cut out of it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, Lee Greenwood, uh, he says that uh, – he they asked in this Tennessean article about Christian nationalism, you know, when you put the Bible and your country's founding papers together, seems sure. like that would. But Greenwood said he was not familiar with the term Christian nationalism, uh, but he's but he is uh, familiar with the term. You've got a good love coming, uh, but said he does not think Christians should be given any more rights than anyone else. I mean, that's as far as I'll go, though. We don't believe in Christian nationalism at all, Kirk Patrick said. This is the man from Elite Source Pro. We really, he just gave a bunch of interviews is what happened. He's like, nobody's talking about this damn, I put this Lee Greenwood Bible out and I ain't been on Jimmy Kimmel once. That pillar man was on there. I'm going to give some interviews. Call up Religion Unplugged and Holly Meyer at the Tennessean. I don't care what Lee Greenwood says. We don't believe, Zondervan can kiss my ass. We don't believe in Christian nationalism at all, Kirkpatrick said. We really didn't worry about extreme right or left being upset. I think most people just want to live and love and go to work and live life and not care about black people getting shot by cops. I added that last part. Because in this interview, then in the high, this is from the Religion Unplugged. Sorry, I'm still talking about this. I know we got to do the sponsors. Yeah, the Lake Greenwood Bible is, is you know, we, we need to address it, I think. It's good for people to, to, to know. Where, how much it cost again? How much it cost? $50. So $50. How much did Lake Greenwood get out of that $50? That's a good question. I'm going to imagine with Kirk Patrick uh, from Elite Source Pro, and this is alleged uh, taking the lead on these interviews. I'm going to say he's probably getting about 70%. Zondervan, uh, I don't know. I yeah, know. I guess Zondervan would get 70%, and Elite Source Pro would get 25%. Yeah. And then they'd probably give Lee Greenwood because it's only the chorus of his song. And not the whole song, yeah. And his name, and we don't know if his likeness is within inside. I don't the Bible. think his likeness is in there, but if yeah. you saw a picture, okay, if you didn't know anything about the Lee Greenwood Bible and you just started flipping through the Bible and you saw Lee Greenwood's picture, you go, oh, Jesus. Well, I'm about to say, you know, actors play Jesus in movies all the time. You just have, you know, the Bible has pictures in it he just say he, he wouldn't have to go you know and pose for the picture you just take you know use a computer and put his face on all the pictures of jesus he did lee greenwood jesus. as jesus just say it that way lee and, greenwood you know, as j performing as you know laying it, down G, jesus got tired and lay down on the ground and it's here he is lee greenwood everybody he'd have to get a little more five percent than that though i bet if he wants more than five percent, he needs to stand the fuck up. Hey, hey! Uh, in the height of the Black Lives Matter protests, this is just—I just want to get this part in. Activists began tearing down or destroying statues and monuments they connected to racial injustice. In past civilizations, Kirkpatrick said, libraries have been burned, documents tore down. We started seeing statues coming down, and we started seeing history, for good or bad trying to be erased and we started thinking okay well how far does this erase in the history go love it or hate it it's history how far does it go part of having these statues is so that we don't repeat those mistakes and so by having these uh, heroically uh, profiled uh, handsome men with swords on their mighty steeds is how we learn how wrong they were. Uh, that's history, Jackie. That's what history is for. What What does Lake Greenwood have to do with that? I mean, is history when, when I don't know. Lake I don't Greenwood, know. If, he's on, if he's trying to sell a Lake Greenwood Bible, well, I guess it does make sense. You're going to bring up Black Lives Matter. But we, we Lake, never... That's history, too. When was that number one on the chart? 1984. 1984. 
talk a little. That's a, does he got any statues up? I'm that take every Confederate statue down and put Lee Greenwood up. I'd be all, I'd be all right with that. That's it's fine. true. If you're looking at a Civil War book and you and Lee Greenwood's pictures in it, you'd be like, oh, a general. Same again, same. I don't know what it is about Lee Greenwood's head, but he could play a lot of different people from history. Well, tired versions of them. Yeah. Tired laying down. Laying oh, they, down version. oh, here they are laying down and signing the Appomattox, whatever. So if this is the man again. So if the Bible contained Holy Scripture, but also contained these documents, it would be a one stop shop for people to learn the basics of why the founders built into those documents divine providence. Uh, this is good because this way, if you want to read about good history, you just look at the Lee Greenwood Bible. And if you want to learn about bad history, you just look at uh, Civil War statues uh, commemorating the Confederacy. And that way you get both sides of it, very even handed, the good, the bad. And you don't have to teach 16, 19, and you can just deny tenure all day long. I think we just solved it. I don't know what Lee Greenwood has to do with it. I've read like three versions of this origin story. And I still haven't quite untangled it all. But, you know, I I guess Lee Greenwood once again has saved America. We noticed the divide in the public where some people started seeing pro-American images like the flag, bald eagle, Statue of Liberty. He doesn't say it, but Lee Greenwood as weaponized tools of the Republican Party. And we didn't understand that, Kirkpatrick said. He he heard the idea began brewing. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. We got to get to the sponsors. The idea began brewing in fall 2020 when Kirkpatrick and friends in the entertainment industry heard homeschool parents complain that public schools. Okay, first of all. The homeschool parents were complaining that public schools were not teaching American history anymore. Consider the source. I can't get over what them homeschool parents said. I said public schools just wasn't teaching history, and they they had to take take their kids out so they could learn about Nick of fucking Damus all day. Hey, hey. They just... (laughs) I was talking to the homeschool parents again, and they were really unloading on the public school system. They hate it. Uh, not having students read and understand the U.S. Constitution and the uh, Bill of Rights. I do think people should read the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights, but it seems as if everyone's coming uh, to different conclusions after reading that. Anyway, folks, that's the story of the Lee Greenwood Bible Uh Hugh Kirkpatrick, uh, Zondervan, Elite Source Pro, Harper Collins, Christian Books. I don't know what else. Everybody, Lee Greenwood, the Founders, the Civil War. Uh, we've never heard of anyone throwing a Bible away. It's always prominent somewhere in the house. It's either and, on the coffee table. It's somewhere it's accessible. If you take Lee Greenwood out of this, and I, and I don't want to because it's Lee Greenwood. He, you know, he deserves where he needs to be in this Bible. But basically, if you take him out of it, you got two things that everybody should read to know about, but the last thing anybody wants to le- read, the Constitution and the Bible. That's the last thing anybody wants to like sit and think you're trying to go to sleep or something. You know what I mean? That's the reason you got to have a good sermon. You know, somebody get up there and, and say it right. Yeah, let's read. Uh, I mean, if. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to stop. I do want to thank uh, Elizabeth McClellan on Twitter who sent that to us. Uh, we, had, we had already sniffed it out, but uh, you you gave us the, the vote of confidence we needed to know that we needed to spend about 45 minutes on it on this podcast. So, uh that's Lee Greenwood. Wasn't that didn't that, wasn't there a Lee Greenwood impersonator here in Murfreesboro, Jackie, that we talked about? A while back, of, yeah. Well, I can't remember his name, but yeah. They could have been more than one. I think there was a whole thing about it. And maybe actually Mr. Lee Greenwood himself. Oh, you know he'd been in Murfreesboro before, yeah. Oh, I'm sure he was. I'm sure he has been. And Franklin ain't too far away, you know. You drive by his house, probably laying out in the yard. <laughs> Always tired. Oh, resting, just resting, yeah. 
He's either singing or resting. I tell you what, that's one thing about Lay Greenwood. Let's talk about the Lee Greenwood Bible. Please. Jackie, last week we talked about the Lee Greenwood Bible and uh, Guy Lancaster, our friend from Arkansas. I mean, he's more than just someone from Arkansas. He is many, uh, he's a gifted, talented uh, storyteller of the sins of the past, a researcher, a, a raconteur, I would say. Uh, but also a, a, a man from Arkansas with all that, all the burdens that entails. And he said, he sent us Lee Greenwood's, uh, it's just an article that Lee Greenwood, God bless the USA Bible, can't find a publisher. I think this is the one he sent us. Basically, the deal was off. Whoever was running that company that cleans carpets or whatever that got together with uh, Lee Greenwood to uh, put this Bible Bible deal together and was talking to Zondervan when people started being like, is that a good idea? I let me, when they started praying on it, when people started praying on it, they were like, I don't know if we want this. A petition was going around. The petition only has 900 signatures. So at some point, I think it was more than the petition. But Zondervan said it would not move forward. Uh, and it was premature announcements. This, I think, was the guy saying his Bible's coming out uh, from that company that uh, steams wallpaper, whatever it does. And they're also putting this Bible together. We On the last episode, we talked about him. He did seem like every time you heard somebody talking about it, it was this guy and Lee Greenwood. So this guy, I don't know, he plays golf with Lee Greenwood or something, allegedly. And he put together a deal to make a Bible Somebody photoshopped a leather Bible. It says, God bless the USA on it with a flag. And uh, it got out in the press. And, you know, every podcast in America ran with the Lee Greenwood Bible. At least at least we got really excited about it. Now there's an article in the Tennessean saying, Lee Greenwood's God bless the USA Bible finds a new printer after Harper Collins Christian passes. That's well, yeah, Zondervan. yeah. But they don't name. Oh, wait, here we go. Hugh Kirkpatrick, who leads the Tennessee company behind the new custom Bible backed by Greenwood, said he could not disclose just yet who they are working with now. But Elite Source Pro, that's the <laughs> that's the company that's putting this Bible together, is Elite lining Plus. up another business to print and bind the tome. Elite Source Pro, I think they, you know. They, if you have basically a company like Cyber Ninjas, yes, except I think Elite Source Pro prints your company's logo on uh plastic cups, and Cyber Ninjas at least knows how to pretend to do something. I mean, they at least know how to well, you first log in. They know they know how to use a staff, you know, use a magnifying glass. Sorry, man. So I uh, is this sim here's a here's a company called elitesourcepro.com. If you go to elitesourcepro.com, uh there's a picture. This cannot be them. Elitesourcepro.com. There's a picture of a chessboard just from like some image site it says in business strategy is key helping you make your next move and then there's a con and then there's a picture of a man playing chess but you can't see his face and i it's just them i mean it's uh the website's powered by godaddy uh uh, ESP has helped established large and small business owners, startups, managers, and board members locate and engage faster, more profitable solutions to help them and their customers become much more cost effective than the old approach to their business frustrations. If you need it faster and more affordable, give us a call. What the fuck are you talking about? Ah. 
Elite Source Pro ESP was started as a B2B resource to help with sales, marketing, vendor search, and introduction, and finding the best and fastest providers to solve many of today's business problems. Nothing, this cannot be, this cannot be the people entrusted with the Lee Greenwood Bible. Anyway, somebody named Elite Source as a terrible website. And uh, supposedly the Lee Greenwood Bible, the project is still going to happen, Kirkpatrick said on Wednesday. The consumer will get the exact same product at the exact same time, which, by the way, I think is 9-11. I think did one of these stories at first say, like, coincidentally, coming out on 9-11, like, yeah, coincidentally, just, hey, guess what day it is? Did we talk about that already? The specialty Bible, which can be pre-ordered for $49.99, will still include copies of the Bill of Rights, U.S. Constitution, Declaration of Independence, Pledge of Allegiance, and the chorus to God Bless the USA. <laughs> now, look. You open up a book and it plays a little little song, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like cards that do that. I don't know if you've ever seen no like birthday card or whatever. They open up. It's, yeah, oh, I like I that. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. In, oh, this is interesting, Jackie. Instead of the new international version translation, the God Bless the USA Bible will feature the King James Version. Oh, you know, because somebody who, who somebody wrote us on. I'm blanking. Forgive me. I don't know which one of our good friends who actually tells us what's going on in the world uh, wrote us. But I think there is licensing to and maybe on Patreon. Uh, I think you have to license the, the NIV Bible. It's hard to keep them apart because we got so many people that reach out to us to let us know. <laughs> we have uh, five or six smart people who let us know about things. And, and we, uh, we, we appreciate you. Thank we you. Do. I wish yeah. I should have pulled that before we started doing this. But, you know, I don't know if you've ever listened to this podcast before. Uh, Preparation is not always the. But the, instead of the new international version, but translation, the God Bless the USA Bible will feature the King James Version. So does that mean King James Version is just right for the picking? I guess I can just go uh, put out a King James Version if I wanted to, Bible, which I should. The Jackie Bible. Don't get me in that. God's Bible. God's Bible. Now. And we can sell some. Folks, would you pony up for a Jackie Brawls Bible? The now, look. Brawlsable? Hey, hey. I know you can self-publish and all that stuff right now, but like, see, so that's what I like Lee Greenwood. I don't like him saying Lee Greenwood's Bible. I would say Jackie Brawls Bible that Jackie Brawls reads or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't mine. If, uh, Folks, we'll figure out what tier for Patreon we need to start sending out these Bibles. Um, we, I guess this is good news. They say that this Bible is still coming out, although they don't say who is going to publish it for them. Uh, don't worry. Oh, there's more to this story. Zondervan is not publishing, manufacturing, or Uh-oh. selling the God Bless the USA Bible. While we were asked for a manufacturing quote, ultimately the project was not a fit for either party. And the website and marketing of the NIV project were premature. Kirkpatrick said it was a mutual decision. Kirkpatrick is from <coughs> Elite Source Pro. Uh, they've been very gracious in their exit. They had a business right. A business right. I had a <laughs> listen. I had a business right to do what they did," <laughs> said Kirk Patrick, who previously described Elite Source Pro as a client of the Bible publisher. All right, so somebody is screwing Lee Greenwood. Is <laughs> basically, I think, what's happening here. We don't want people upset or mad at Harper Collins or Zondervan. It's freedom. It's freedom. <laughs> It's freedom not to buy the Bible. (laughs) It's freedom to buy the Bible. Hell, freedom. There's no ill will. We don't want, let me read that again. I'm sorry. 
I burst out laughing inappropriately. We don't want people upset or mad at Harper Collins or Zondervan. It's freedom. It's freedom not to buy the Bible. It's freedom to buy the Bible. There's no ill will. <laughs> Whether it plays the league grade was God bless the USA or not. Kirkpatrick said he's fielded about 70 emails since the Bible's announcement and roughly 60% have been critical of the project. (laughs) He did not expect the God bless the USA Bible to draw such frustrated and aggravated responses. What's why? (laughs) This is the best. That's the best sentence I ever read. Holly Meyer at the Tennessean uh, wrote 2021's greatest sentence. (laughs) <laughs> this is full of a lot of great sentences. Should we talk to her? She has to know how full of shit this guy is. Kirk Patrick said, let me just read this one more time. He's fielded 70 emails since the Bible's announcement. 60% have been critical of the project. Also, those are weird numbers just to pull out thin air. I don't know, 70 people, 60%. <laughs> Mad as hell. <laughs> it's just a Bible, people. He did not expect the God bless the USA Bible to draw such frustrated and aggravated responses. Jesus, they feel that it's sacrilegious to put all that within two covers. It's got separation pages. It tells you what part is written by Lay Greenwood and what I. <laughs> Jesus' no, I... words are in red. Lay Greenwood's is in beige. It's hard. Granted, it's hard to see the beige words. A reddish beige. (laughs) It's got separation pages. Hell, I wish I'd never heard of the Bible at this point. An online petition said it was a toxic mix and called for Zondervan Harper Collins. So somebody at Zondervan (laughs) was sitting at their desk one day maskless and they got a phone call and they're like what who the petition garnered more than 900 signatures five authors published by zondervan welcomed the news the publishing group was not f- moving forward with god bless the usa bible oh my god uh yeah sorry i didn't read this whole article so i'm enjoying it with you they can all enjoy something together every now and then, yeah. Uh, so, it's more in this great article. Uh, I hope this isn't the end of it. I, I know they're saying it's still going to be published. I, I wouldn't. If this was, <laughs> if you were planning this as a, it's a post-9-11 birthday gift for your estranged dad, who you ain't seen since, uh, you know, a Facebook video on one six. <laughs> I I would think maybe about coming up with a plan B. Jackie, what? Let me give you a pointer. We got a lot of news this week, but there's nothing more important than this. You cannot put your name on a Bible and expect Joe Biden to have any respect for you. So if we were going to come out with that Jackie Bros Bible, like we talked about after the Lee Greenwood Bible, look at here what happened to, to Lee Greenwood. Canceled in his own country. The, the, probably the most patriotic man to ever sing about how patriotic he is. Canceled by Joe Biden. Joe Biden, who, if you strapped a strange beard, dyed beard to his face, would resemble Lee Greenwood. Canceled, Jackie. Cancel culture run amok. He can't even serve on the National Endowment for the Arts. What's it called? The uh, he, Biden kicked him off of it. What is? What does he do on it? What is Lee Greenwood? The National Council on the Arts. 
He what probably did, run the whole thing. I don't know, Lee. Anyway. No, he did. He may come in once every two months and saying, "God bless USA." Isn't that pretty much what he does now? He go from place to place and saying that wherever he is, a whether it's a rally or a, a, a church, a show. I don't. I mean, that's what he does. I don't know what else he does. I don't know why national endowment for the arts need that, but maybe they won't come in there every month or so to sing it. And if that's the case. If Biden, you know, fired him over that, like he, there's only so many times he can hear that song. I mean, I love it. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, he's doing it everywhere else. How much is a national endowment for the arts? How much they, they, they pay you for that? I don't know, but they got it. If they ain't meeting or exceeding the state fair pay, then I don't know why Lynn Green would, would even be uh, into it. I, you know, if he did have duties for these meetings on this art national council on the arts, is what it is. So it's yeah. the national council on the arts. I don't know what they do, or uh-uh. what he does. No. But if he did have duties, like take these xylophones to inner city kids, Lee, or judges can t- We want to get your eye, Lee Greenwood, on these paintings. Do we need to give somebody some money on these? He'd be like, hell, I don't know. I don't know. Is that a sky? But if he did have duties, I would say Lee Greenwood shows up somewhere. He just starts singing God bless the USA. I don't think he would rem- know that he was supposed to take a truckload of, of trombone somewhere or whatever they do. We're going to, we're going to watch a dance recital. I don't know if Lee Greenwood would show up for all that. He would stand up in the middle of the recital, and start singing God bless the USA. Now, let's make it clear now. If you want someone to sing God bless the USA. Oh. That's who you go. You Lee go Greenwood. To the top. Yeah. And if now, if that's his job, which it is, let's all say, I guess he's in the Bible business as well. He's in the Bible business. Now, like Biden probably saw that there was a Lee Greenwood Bible, and he said, who's Lee Greenwood? Why is he on this? And he sings God bless the USA. It's like, I I've heard that. Imagine what a Joe Biden Bible would be like, Jackie. Uh, Have a 1976 Sears catalog women's underwear section torn out and stuck in there. All right. I don't want to hear that. A little hole. Every book Joe Biden has a little hole tunneled through the pages where he hides uh, a pack of chiclets. He always got some gum going. He always, he always smells like peppermint on his breath, little aftershave on the nape of his neck, whatever that scent old people get is. That's his Joe Biden Bible. I forget what's in the Lee Greenwood Bible. Is it just the Bible with some Lee Greenwood in there too? Yeah. They, they, that. Uh, now, this is a uh, John Holiday on Patreon sent us this article about Biden canceling Lee Greenwood and uh, our friend Seth Timms, who uh, generously donates his music to a podcast. uh, He he said, there's a billboard up for this Lee Greenwood Bible. I thought, what's going on? I said, well, I don't know. I guess this Lee Greenwood Bible is still going on. They couldn't use, they had to use the King James version of the Bible. They can use the King James version of the Lee Greenwood by Bi- in uh, of the Bible in the Lee Greenwood Bible because you can't use the NIV Bible. I guess there's rights. If you do a new Bible, I guess you own the copyright to it. So I guess that's a way to make some money off a of Bible. Anybody it, can do a new Bible. What do you mean? Yeah, Hugh Kirkpatrick of Nashville based Elite Source Pro. Remember we talked about. <laughs> We talked about Hugh Kirkpatrick and Elite Source Pro on a couple more we did on Lee Greenwood Bible. We got like two where we talked about Lee Greenwood Bible a lot. Oh, yeah. Two past episodes you may want. Said he reached an agreement with Harper Collins, whose subsidiary Zondervan is licensed to. Zondervan is, I, I'm sure that means something. I don't know. Uh, it probably means something you learn in uh, Bible camp. When you're a little kid, you go to church camp, you're like, and Zondervan. Today I learned what Zondervan means. And then somebody give me a wedgie and we, so they, uh, 
So Zondervan, it sounds though like a children's show from the seventies, like with yeah. somebody in that frog suit and running around. What was that? New Zoo Review sounds kind of like license to publish the NIV uh, Bible, and so I had uh, a bunch of orders for it. Now this new Bible is supposed to come out in twenty twenty two. Uh, Harper Collins, I guess, owns Zondervan. They backed out of the the project, and now they got they got a new one coming out. It's still coming out. It's got uh, and in God we still trust devotional. Uh, some of the lyrics to "God Bless the USA." I don't think there's any of the of the other Lee Greenwood songs in there. Now look, you Lay Greenwood. They got pictures of him in in it or anything. He ain't on the cover of it, is he? No, I don't think he's on the cover. I think it's a, a embossed leather cover. Uh-huh. Uh, but he is his signature may be on it somewhere. I'm looking at the All cover right, now. There's yeah. a flag, says Holy Bible. And underneath that, God bless the USA. Inspired by Lee Greenwood's hit song and the most recognized patriotic anthem in America, God Bless the USA, pre-ordered now. The ultimate American Bible is what they're calling it. <laughs> so, I mean, challenge accepted. I can out-American that Bible. I, there's not even a gun in it. There's no gun in it. There's no gun on it. That's why I said on it. I combined in and on because there's no gun on it. Yeah, on it. In it, on it. Ah. You'd think if it's the ultimate American Bible, there is a gun, a picture of a gun, or there is a gun attached to the Bible. Maybe on like one of them little chains that banks use to keep people from stealing their pens. So safety. Here's this. Okay. Easy to read. That's good. Large print. Absolutely necessary for this Bible. Slim design. So you can get so that old people can get their atrophied fingers around it. This Bible invites you to explore God's word anywhere, anytime. That's very important. It just invites you to do it. You ain't got to do it. That's going to come in handy as you invoke Jesus's name to keep uh, Haitians out of the country. This Bible has been designed so that it delivers an easy reading experience in the trusted King James royalty free version translation this large print bible again they say it twice large print is it large print yeah it says it right here okay well good is it large print though daddy it says it twice this large print bible will be perfect to take to church a bible study uh on horseback uh, to whip migrants uh, to work travel etc this bible also features a copy of jackie handwritten chorus to god bless the usa by lee greenwood now he didn't lee greenwood i'm gonna say didn't handwrite in everybody's bible but he may have i don't know he ain't on the arts council no more i guess he's like well what do i do now oh saying god bless the usa the U.S. Constitution is in this Bible. <laughs> we did this three months ago. I don't know why it's still making me laugh. The Bill of Rights is in this Bible. The Declaration of Independence is in this Bible. Uh, yeah. The Pledge of Allegiance is in this Bible. All of them. All of them is in this Bible. Jackie, here's the features. E- easy to read. <laughs> Large uh, print. <laughs> Large print. Uh, easy to read large print two column format that way if you don't like what it's saying in one column about love by neighbor you just go over the other column maybe there's something about uh kicking people out of the country presentation page whatever that is gold ribbon marker words of jesus in red so you can skip right over them the bible lies flat when open (laughs) Uh, i did this we literally did this and it's still Readable found in USA documents that include the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, we named all them. A perfect heirloom, keepsake, companion for. This is, you can see this on the website, folks. Uh, This is, uh, it's perfect for the family, homeschooling households, (laughs) grandparents, 
<laughs> military, new American citizens. They should have said maybe at the end of that. Teens, brides, brides, not grooms, only brides. U.S. history buffs. Maybe there's some history buffs that ain't never read the Bill of Rights. There are. Uh, faith and values advocates. <laughs> Anyone that loves America. That's great at the end there. Because uh, we do want to say that this article about uh, Lee Greenwood getting kicked off the Arts Council by Joe Biden. Let me just quickly, I just want to. Just real quick here, Jackie, I just need to say they talked to Lee Greenwood on Fox News. Well, yeah. And uh, he was shocked. He said it being replaced. And he says, you know, it's a six year appointment. This is Lee Greenwood talking. Oh, that's another thing. He goes on Fox. I tell you, another thing he was shocked about is uh, you won't talk to me. Are you sure I just don't want me saying God used? Now we need to talk to you a little bit. All right. I was appointed by George W. Bush, so I served under his term, also President Obama's term, also President Trump's term. And then, as you know, he used my song, God Bless the USA, which is unilateral for me. It's meant for all people. It's not just for one particular political party. That's what Lee Greenwood says. It's very nice. So here and now, under the Biden administration, he's cleaned house, and finally he's fired a patriot. So it it took a turn. I was quite shocked, to tell you the truth. I didn't get a phone call or a letter. It was just an email. Well, who's going to call? Who's going to call you and tell you that? We, they fired all the mailmen. You think they got somebody sitting around that can call Lee Greenwood on the phone? Say, hey, buddy, hey, that's it for you. What is it now? You on the Arts Council? The what now? Sing it where? No. I would like to think... Uh, this is Lee Greenwood still talking. So he says that. And then almost immediately on this Fox News clip, you can find this online. Hey, he just starts plugging a show he's got in Huntsville, Alabama on October 12th at the well, Bonbon sure, yeah. Civic Center. And then he says you can sponsor a, a vet. Because at first he starts saying it's a very special. It's like his 40 years of hits. The big Lee Greenwood concert. They're going to have a lot of guests. Very special television production, he says. More importantly, we want to make sure that veterans and their caregivers can come to our performance. And I thought, oh, that's nice. It's going to be star-studded, 40 different singers. And Jackie is like Oak Ridge Boys, Jamie Johnson. uh, Who who all was it? Uh, Keith Urban. Like a lot of country old and newish old old country singers. 40 different singers singing the 40 years of hits we've had. So if your listeners can go to our website, LeeGreenwood.com. I mean, this is in the first... He's like, hey, Biden fired me. Also, Von Braun Civic Center and adopt a vet for a hundred dollars. Lee Greenwood says you can put a vet and a caregiver in a seat to watch this amazing television production. I thought he was saying we've set aside, we've invited, we're paying for it. All oh, I'm going to take some of his Bible money. All oh, expensive. I thought went to charity or something. That just goes for a ticket. You just buy it. He wants you to buy a ticket for a vet to go see uh, Lee Greenwood. Forty years of hits, which I mean, it, you know, maybe we should be buying more tickets for vets. But that's really not where I thought he was going. Like, yeah, vets are very important to me. I'm on this council for the arts, uh, formerly, and uh, veterans are, and I'd like the arts, so I try to help the arts by being on that council. And you see where that got me. So I'm going to help veterans now by asking you to pay a hundred dollars to adopt a vet. Adopt a vet. Literally, adopt a vet means get them a ticket to see a Lee Greenwood TV special. What's that going to be on, GAC? So Lee Greenwood, Jackie, Lee Greenwood cannot catch a break when it comes to being on an arts council or possibly a Bible, although that seems to be uh, working out for him because the man, Hugh Hugh Kirkpatrick, says uh, Kirkpatrick predicts a Controversy over the project, the Lee Greenwood Bible, will turn it into a hit. I, this project is not stopped, he said. It, in fact, it's got gasoline poured on it. I, I don't think he meant he poured gasoline on the Bibles. but I hope not, yeah. Just in case, if you ordered one, you might want to keep it away from an open flame. 
That's the Lee Greenwood Bible. What do you reckon Biden kicked him off of there for? Well, he said he cleaned house. I think they they nominated a whole new bunch of people. He'd been on there. The Fox News lady said he'd been on there nearly 20 years. Well, yeah. Bush and Obama and Trump. Yeah. She she said, you know, Biden came into office saying he wanted to unite the country. I can't think of anything that unites the country more than your song, God Bless the USA. Well, that's right. And also in Huntsville, Alabama, uh, coming up, I need you to get your billfold out. Let me tell you something. God Bless the USA apparently makes people a lot of money. People can sniff this out. I'd like to go to that concert too. I'd also, you know, people don't, what I want to hear is him singing all his little sexy, sultry 80s country songs and then lead up to God Bless the USA. I bet he brings everybody out on stage at the end for God Bless the USA. They should, yeah. That's kind of, he can do that more than once in a show. That's a song he can sing twice. He probably sing it by himself early and then at the end, you know. Pretty good, pretty good uh, gig. Well, I don't know how much uh, money he he made being on National Endowment of the Arts, how much that paid, but he gonna triple it by complaining about not being on it anymore. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, this is uh, from a website, Alabama Political Reporter. Y'all, I'm sorry. Anytime Lee Greenwood's in the news, we have to spend a few minutes on it. So here's somebody else hopping on the Lee Greenwood got fired by Biden canceled. Uh, Representative Perry Hooper, uh, former state representative Perry Hooper, uh, R. Montgomery. So this Alabama, uh, he's not even a, he's just somebody, They in this article they call him, uh, he's the chairman of the Greenwood Dinner. He's an Alabama Music Hall of Fame board member and Republican insider. They call him. What is it? What is a Republican insider right now? I mean, just somebody who gets a lot of misinformation on Facebook. That's half a country. Anyway, just real quick. Here's somebody else sniffed out. I can make money off this. I went from shock to anger. Hooper said, I guess there's no room for a true American patriot in Joe Biden's world. See, we're not making this. We're not exaggerating. From woke generals running the military to the National Endowment of the Arts, he wants to tear down the America we love. Republicans love uh, the arts, by the way. This is disgusting. Lee's masterpiece, God Bless the USA, has become a patriotic hymn behind only the national anthem and God Bless America in importance to the soul of our great country. And Country Boy Will Survive, add to it also. Another good one, probably canceled. Greenwood released, oh, this is just a regular article. Uh, one of the, once the word of this firing gets out, says this son of a bitch, this sold out event will become standing room only. And yeah. they're going to sell it out again. Yep. I, well, it's sold out, but so many people going to be so mad. We're going to squeeze them in there anyway. If we make everybody take off their mask, we can probably fit another 10, 20 people in there. Become standing room only as Alabamians show their support for an adopted favorite son from California. Lee Greenwood Hooper stated. I looked up a picture of this Hooper man and I don't have anything against Botox and apparently neither does he. You got anything else on? Uh... Now, I don't understand Arts Council, the difference between National Endowment for the Art. I think John Prine, Fiona Prine is going to be on. She's one of the people that's on it now. It's different kinds of people from all over. Uh, it's not all uh, Lee Greenwood types. I don't know who was on there before. I don't see anybody. I don't see there's not a correlation to Lee Greenwood. It's not like they... T- Kick Lee Greenwood off and put Kid Rock on. Oh, Kid Rock is going to be at this concert for Lee Greenwood. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, here's something. One way I don't understand why you don't look at it this way. I'm talking about, you know, being a patriot means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But uh, let's just talk about Lee Greenwood fans in general. What, what, how come they didn't get upset 
when they found out that Lee Greenwood didn't didn't you know quit the job as soon as Biden became president. He could have made point. just as much of a, a fuss over that. I'm resigning from the National uh, Endowment from my arch. First off, most people, don't, nobody knows what that is. I barely know what it is. I've heard it before. I will not, under this administration, legitimize it in any way. He could have gone either way, but I guess, you know, I'm sure they had to remind him he was still on it. It's just another way to look at it, I reckon, isn't it? Ron McDaniel says, Lee Greenwood wrote, God bless the USA. Now Biden wants him canceled, too. So much for uniting the country, McDaniel wrote on Twitter. So it's pretty easy to. And I guess he has to be confirmed. Well, he they, he gets to stay on the council till they confirm the new council. So, uh, OK. And they have to do that in Congress. So I would I would love I them just to have hearings on this. <laughs> it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I don't. Not at, I all. Guess, Not at all. I guess he has to say, I, I thought about resigning, but I wanted to to give him a chance to unite the country. Fire the man who wrote, God bless the USA. Can you believe it, Jackie? I know. Got his I, own Bible. I know. We go, if they go, but here is, we got Ted Cruz. Do you think that God bless the USA song is racist? Yes or no? So if anybody goes to see Lee Greenwood in Alabama um, uh, in Huntsville, October 12th, let me know. Somebody said it was sold out, but I think he may have been exaggerating. Kid Rock going to be there and Michael W. Smith. Big and rich. (laughs) Randy Owen of Alabama. Where's what happened to the other two? Crystal Gale. I like Crystal. I mean, I like a lot of these people. It hurts. But I like Crystal Gale. Yeah, she's good. So that's Lee Greenwood, folks. We have to get a little. We should just change this to a Lee Greenwood podcast and just go song by song. Uh, I didn't get a phone call or letter. It's just an email. Why would you want that via phone call? A letter, sure, you can frame it, but a phone call. Awkward. Email much better. If you gotta get fired, email is the second best way. Letters the best way. Can you, say, can you believe you can show it to people? Wave it around. Look at this. Wave it around in the bar. Let me read yeah. this to you. Yeah. And then if I want somebody to read something to me, I'd listen to the Red State Update podcast. Email second best way because you get it over with. You don't have to talk to nobody. Phone call, worst way. Uh, Lee, I just, uh, sorry about this. It just ain't, uh, it ain't working out after small talk. Hey, Lee, how you doing? All right. Well, good, good. Well, let me get to, how's your family? All right. Well, good, good. I just, uh, let me get down to it, I reckon. Like, you, what's she complaining about? It's also, you know, when we you work, it's all embarrassing. Your office, your, uh, boss calls you to go go to go to his office, you know, and you have to go in there and probably know what's going to happen. And you have to walk out and everybody look at you and see you. Like if Biden called up, say, I need Lee Greenwood to come to the White House. I got to tell him something. You know, that'd be all new. Like, oh, Lee Greenwood going to the White House. He's going to the White House. Look at him going to the White House for a show to come out. What happened? Well, hell, they fired me. Also, I don't understand if it was such a big deal for him to be on the council. Wouldn't it be in the damn bio on the Bible site? Because it's not. It's in it's National Endowment. It seemed like, they, if they, you know, George Bush appointed me to the National Endowment. I'm telling you, you're right. He don't know he's on it. He didn't know till, the, till he got. It ain't of- in his bio. There's room for it because it lists. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight songs that ain't God Bless the USA, which we've talked about on here before. You got a good love coming. Like they could have fit. Also, 
uh, Arts Council. They could have fit that in the same amount of letters as you got a good love coming. But they just didn't. They were like, eh, nobody's going to care about that. But they do care when you can turn it into a Fox News hit. I got yeah, no. George Stop. Bush invited me up to the White House. I sang to sing God love you, you know, bless the USA. And the next thing I know, I'm somebody told me I was on the council. Folks, Paula Dean is gonna be at this Lee Greenwood All Star Salute concert at Von Braun Civic Center. Is she gonna sing? Why do you got Paula Dean? You got Janie Fricky, you got Jeannie Seeley, you got John Conley. You got Scott Staff of Creed, a real piece of shit. You got Tony Orlando. <laughs> you got Tracy Lawrence. I don't know why you need, I don't know why you need Paula Dean. Anyway, so let me, anybody go into that, let us know. I'd love to, we'd love to talk about it. Uh, uh, if you do go, uh, don't get COVID. Yeah, don't get COVID. Can I can I interrupt for just one second, Jackie? And I'm sorry, I was listening to you. Yeah. And I and I was paying attention to what I was saying, which yeah. was what was it? The Patriot. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I have a, a Lee Greenwood's Wikipedia up and I just saw this, and this is the kind of thing that won't happen on other podcasts, because uh, they're professional. When they're done talking about Lee Greenwood, they're done talking about Lee Greenwood. But I had this open and then I just wanted to say I never knew this. Greenwood is known for writing and recording God Bless the USA in the early 80s. I knew that. And later, God Bless You Canada. What? He wrote a song called God Bless You Canada. Traitor. When did it do that? I don't know. It's not even a clickable link. I guess we got to go listen to it. We already done twenty extra minutes. This yeah, week, it so wouldn't it be something we find out he'd been underground going doing for every country doing a song for him. And somehow keeping it a secret from the rest of Canada makes sense because nobody paying attention to that. Nobody now if you went and said God bless Afghanistan, you're probably gonna take notice of that. God bless you, Canada. Let's see. It's on YouTube. Let's see how many views it's got. This this will tell us real quick. We don't have to get we don't have to get during the weeds on God bless you Canada. Uh, it's got one hundred sixty nine thousand views. It must maybe there's a better version of it than this. The first comment is as an American, God bless you Canada, our good neighbor to the north, America and Canada, friends forever. Now there is a, this was seven years ago. So now he might hate Canada or might be uh well, true though. Yeah. Caught camp COVID. Uh, anything could have happened in seven years. Things have changed a lot in seven years. I'm just going to go ahead and say, so the song is playing. I can't hear it because I want, I'm doing my podcast right now and I can't listen to it, but just let you, just let you know if you want to hear God bless the USA, but about Canada. Maybe that's what we'll do on. How about we we all we, me you and I will listen to it. We'll set it up where we listen to it on the thing. This wasn't planned. We wouldn't try to lure nobody no. in. Now we got something to do for twenty minutes next week because we already did one. But put that on the put that on the list. Is it just the same lyrics? I'm sorry, I just am looking at. I just want to say that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same lyrics. It's so pretty much it's because the same tune, everything. Yeah, it's the same thing. God bless. You can no uh, the, the, God bless the USA. You couldn't say God, God bless, bless the Canada. Yes, say God bless, bless Canada. Yeah, it works. If tomorrow all the thing I hope he sings it in like a Canadian accent. If tomorrow all the things were gone and I I'd worked for all my life, eh? <laughs> With just my children and my wife. Whatever. Anyway, so he goes. 
And I won't forget the man who died who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Because there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless you, Canada. Hey, that's what he should say. Because it just says, God bless you, Canada. It doesn't rhyme with today. No. So he should say, God bless you, Canada. Canada. Hey. Yeah, why not? From the shores of Nova Scotia, I guess we're just doing it now, to the forest in BC, from Montreal to Winnipeg, <laughs> from sea to shining sea. This isn't funny. People listening to this going, why are they laughing? From Detroit, we can see her. <laughs> that's okay. That's funny. Above the USA. Because <laughs> there's pride in every Canadian heart. And it's time to stand and say, that I'm proud to be in Canada, where at least I know I'm free. free. And I won't forget the men who died who give that right to me. And I right. gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. But he should be like Tim Hortons, Poutine. Those are the only things that I know about. Hockey. Yeah, that's it. That's the only he has a verse in there where he mentions Winnipeg. And that's about the only difference. And Detroit. Detroit. Look it up. Look look up. It's Canada. Look. Snow. So that's Lee Greenwood. God bless the USA. God bless you. Sponsor. Canada. And God bless you, Canada. Canada A. Ooh, this is a little all Lee Greenwood. All right, so folks, I just want to talk about Lee Greenwood for one one second here. They were going to have this big concert at the NRA, which I think was called something like the the Grand Old NRA. <laughs> it's not funny, I, but they didn't. They canceled it because everybody was pulling out. No, <laughs> no, they didn't cancel it. They they still they still did it. They just didn't have Lee Greenwood there. Unless we I thought they out. canceled it. Everybody dropped out. Did they no, not they, cancel it? No, they they had it. There were thousands of people outside of it screaming. Ted Cruz was there. Uh, no, they uh, had the NRA thing, but they didn't have the concert. They didn't. I don't think they had nobody saying no. I mean, nobody worth a damn. I guess. That's what I, I mean. mean. No, they had the, the NRA baby. thing. Yeah, yeah they the NRA thing. That. Yeah, they just didn't have no song. Anybody playing the song? Yeah, and, and you know, at least we know where Lee Greenwood draws a line and he's. Uh, uh, 18, 19 dead children. That's where he says, no, no. Now, getting rid of every Muslim out of the United States, he'll play at that rally. There's plenty of stuff he would, but he draws a line. This is it. This is too much. He, uh, yeah, they, everybody dropped out of the thing and uh, of the concert. And Lee Greenwood, yes, he does draw the line here. But he went on Fox and told, I mean, he he literally went on Fox News in the morning, and they were like, "Yeah, so you ain't going to play? And he's like, no, nah, you know, it's just it's too much. It's, it's be disrespectful. But he was wearing a black cat fireworks shirt. I was like, why is he wearing a black cat fireworks shirt? And I'm not saying, yes, he had signed up to play. Look, okay, we're in a, it's better that the musicians drop out after a bunch of kids are murdered than continuing to play the concert. Because I'm surprised they dropped out at all. You're right, Jackie. Yes, that's the line, the kids. But I kind of thought they was in the line. Well, I, let's be honest. We're all a little surprised. I, I, you know, as far as the NRA, some of these people are, are performing. Yeah, yeah. So Lane Greenwood went on, damn, uh, he went on Fox News, and they said, why aren't you playing? And he said, uh, an unfortunate shooting in Texas took place at a very bad time. It was a bad time. It was a bad time. I don't know when it's a good time for for, for children to get get massacred, but yes, it definitely is bad, yes. Uh, uh, For me to go play at the NRA just days after the shoot would be an endorsement. And people would then deem that as, I like this weapon. And obviously that weapon killed kids, and I just couldn't go. So 
I mean, that's kind of harsh for Lee Greenwood on Fox News. And then they're like, but you're here, and you're going to sing a song. And then they talked about Memorial Day. And, I mean, even Larry Gatlin, I think, is for background checks. So all these people are, I don't know, who knows a week later if they still are. Uh, But I want to talk about the Lee Greenwood fireworks. Fireworks? Lee Greenwood, the Grammy Award-winning artist known as America's Patriot and legendary global firework manufacturer Black Cat, have teamed up. Fuck the Avengers. Just in time for the 4th of July to introduce a brand new, spectacular, red, white, and blue, proud to be an American, Lee Greenwood signature, 42 report patriotic firework to the public. The firework will be available in select locations starting May 17th in time for Memorial Day and everywhere in time for the July 4th season. The proud to be an American Lee Greenwood signature firework features three separate cakes. Lee Greenwood all caked up. God bless the USA. 14 shots of red. I love this land. 14 shots of white. And from sea to shining sea. 14 shots of blue. You know he's mad when them kids got killed right before his fireworks launch. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, says Lee Greenwood. The 4th of July is one of my favorite holidays to honor our veterans and celebrate freedom. What are the... (laughs) Yeah, the 4th of July, that's one of my favorite ones to celebrate freedom. Partner with Black Cat was a natural fit. And they put together a beautiful assembly of red, white, and blue to honor our great country. I'm going to say he ain't got much time to celebrate because he is booked. He is singing that song four or five different places. I mean, that, that week of 4th of July coming up, he he's a busy man, I guarantee you. When you think of patriotism and music and celebrity in America, you turn no further than to Lee Greenwood, said Chris Nolan, VP of Marketing and Brand Development, Black Cat Fireworks USA. Lee is the undisputed Mr. America. And his music is featured all over the United States every year at fireworks celebrations in cities great and small. We were ecstatic when his team came to us with this partnership opportunity. God bless the USA. And we're even more elated to finally bring this creation to market. Yeah. You go. You can uh, go on damn uh, YouTube and uh, watch a video of him. You know, it's like 10 seconds long. Like, I really agree with these fireworks are great. He even calls out, there's some videos where he calls out the uh, damn fireworks by name. Like different stands you can get it at. Well, well I, I, I ain't I ain't doing the NRA show uh, this week, so I got I got plenty, plenty more time to make me some... Fireworks commercials, if you guys want to put some on YouTube. Fireworks, a Bible? I mean, come on. What has he not got them little patriotic fingers in? He he He's doing it. In Florida, you can get the uh, Lee Greenwood fireworks at Donnie Aaron's Arsenal of Fireworks in Boca Raton. Georgia Pyro City Fireworks in Conyers. Georgia Family Fun Fireworks, several locations. Family fun. I like that. See, that's like I want to go get fireworks. I don't want to go to Arsenal. But I guess some people want the dangerous fireworks. You want you want it to sound, you know, ominous. I guess or menacing. But family fun. That's why like we go get some. We eat the little snake, the black smoke snakes and stuff that like that. That sounds like fun. Like, yeah, family fun. You see, it right there. Family fun fireworks. Where well, you go there and play great? Well, give me one of them. God bless America fireworks, sir. But what was the other one? Son of Arsenal, that, yeah, that that yeah, and in Kansas you can go to Firework Mania Superstore. That sounds dangerous. That little uh, well, the pyro man. That's what the, the fire people. Yeah, that's old Don. Old oh, back draft. Remember back draft. Back draft. Old old Donald Sutherland. Yeah, uh, Hannibal Cannibal Fire. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, arson man. Yeah. Scare, scare, yeah. I'm sure everybody scared of Hannibal Lecter because he eats it. Absolutely, I understand that. But you want somebody to burn you up? You want to, he, he he's still going to cook you. It matter to me, old Don Charlotte, 
uh, burn you up, not even eat you. That's worse, I think. Go to waste. Yeah. Boom scares, land. scares me. What? Boomland in Charleston, Missouri. All right, I'm gonna give him credit for that. That's a good. That's a good name. Ooh, in Louisiana, fireworks. you go to Big Gorilla Fireworks in Slidell. Big Gorilla well, Fireworks. Big Gorilla Fireworks in Slidell, Louisiana. Five four three two nine uh-huh. East Howes Beach Road. Should I keep reading fireworks? Name <laughs> the fireworks stores on our. Damn. Podcast? Here's I mean, some people on Twitter. Getting, would not have not thought Larry Gatlin. Any of it. People on Twitter mad at him. I would not have thought Larry Gatlin and Lee Greenwood would cancel their showing at the NRA convention. Lee Greenwood, you are a coward. Not showing up for an NRA convention is sheer cowardice at precisely the time godly courage is needed. Damn the optics or political correctness. Only President DJT and Ted Cruz had the intestinal fortitude to make the right choice. Some of these that I thought were people mad at them turned out to be jokes, so I'm not sure. All right. I was going to say if there's anybody threatening to burn his Bible. I went to his website, and according to LeeGreenwood.com, you can uh, not only— He's got some coins for sale, too. So he's got Bibles, coins, and fireworks— and uh, I haven't seen anybody threaten to burn the damn uh, Bible. It still looks like it's for pre-order. So I guess it's coming out. If you oh, listen to us right. talk about Lee Greenwood on here before, folks. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a lot of stuff going on. And people are complicated. These are terrible times. Lee Greenwood, by performing at these NRA conventions and Trump rallies. Did he, he's actually been to Trump rallies, right? Of course I'm, he has. I'm not making yeah. that up. No, I, I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, it, 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 like I said, his standards ain't, you know, again, good standard to have. 19 dead children in cold blood is a good place to draw the line. I, I'm I'm going to encourage him for that. I'm going to take what I can get. So good for you, Lee Greenwood. Yeah. Good for you. And I just want to say, I know we've made – I. Made a lot of fun of Lee Greenwood on here over the years, but I want to say having your own fireworks is cool as fuck. It's fucking cool. I'll it's, watch your mouth. That's all awesome. Right, don't I don't, do I'm sorry. Just watch your I, mouth. It's all tangled up and it's making the world a worse place. And if you really like untie all the threads, you'd be like, well, shit, maybe singing that song at all these rallies kind of contributes to this culture. But for today, let's just say it's cool to have. I'd, I'd buy those fireworks. I'd buy them. It's good to have a Bible, too, I suppose. Get, you know, anything you get people to read the Bible, like I said, I don't care if it's a cartoon, Lynn Greenwood, whatever it is. If it gets your nose in the Bible, good for you. Get in the good book. Maybe we should go get some of these fireworks, Jackie, and see if we can. I don't even want to hear no, none of them blowing up. We'll, we'll see if we'll get closer to July 4th. I don't know. I Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know how much money he makes off of them. Well, he'd make it just, if he's wearing a T-shirt, he'd make us some money. I'm telling you right now. Hey, I'm going hey, I'm gonna be on Fox News. I'm going to wear your shirt. Wait, wait, what are you talking about on there? Well, I'm going to tell him I'm not playing the NRA rally because of, of all the dead kids. And if you're a black cat, you have no idea if that's good or bad. Like, well, we signed Lee Greenwood. He's going on Fox. That's good. He's going on Fox News. That's good. They're going to talk about this mass murder and him not attending an NRA rally. Like, ah, like that's, is that going to help more people buy fireworks? I don't think so. It's not like you're going to get people who want background checks. Like, well, now I can buy these Lee Greenwood fireworks. I don't think they were going to buy them in the first place. And now these people who were going to buy Lee Greenwood fireworks going, fuck Lee Greenwood hey, and black cat fireworks. Watch your mouth. Let's just be honest. It's a difficult time in this country. We've never been more divided since, you know, years and years and years. It's, it's hard to be an entrepreneur. 